Oke, okay, we'll start. Alright, um, good morning everybody. Um, <laughs> it has been really interesting. Um, the US um, election and all had all of us really um, watching and seeing the results and, and look at our people on the street and um, we need to move, move on, we need to progress. So if you guys have any misgivings or any happiness or whatever, um, know that um, at some point uh, things quiet down. And what would you do? Anyway, I'm not going to be a jerk right now, so let's move on. Uh, I mean, um, congratulations for a peaceful election to all of y'all, and hope that um, things will get better or worse, <laughs> whichever you look at it. Okay, and so I. Um, okay, all right. So as we were saying, as I was saying, um, it takes some time to settle down. So I will say for sure that um, I, I had malaria fevers, but that's none of your business, of course. But um, it's significant in a week. So I'm talking to those who come here and those who uh, prospect that uh, they might uh, settle down. But the malaria, okay, you have to watch out for it and get certain, um, I would say, get first aid all the time i did not bring a first aid so i suffered for it so i'll say that all the time make sure that at least you pack a first aid that contains some um, emergency medication and put it in a, a red cross bag okay that you know it has it contains your um, medicine and emergency cuts and some fevers and some malaria uh, pills, okay, and then mosquito sprays, all right, um, for your body, all right. It's very critical, get those creams. Other than that, you will fall sick all the time, like me. I mean, I struggle with it all the time. So this is something that um, you have to consider when you are packing, all right. Also, make sure that the um, you have padlocks, okay, some uh, very good ones, and you don't lose the keys. Okay, because um, it's critical to uh, your things not being stolen. Okay, and it, because if you do that, what what is the use? It, what is the use if you don't have it? Okay, so don't come empty when it comes to locks and keys. Another thing, okay, also is that um, the okay. Another thing is towels okay make sure you cover up with towels and you can wet the towels and be around your neck okay I'll show you in a minute so this instead of handkerchief or whatever get a towel a small hand towel tap it and there you go and hit and hit the road because if you don't have towel you are going to sweat bullets okay and it's not very healthy or hygienic all right so i carry towels with me all the time okay and i put it around my neck okay to absorb the heat the dust and and, and the sweat all right so with that in mind today we are going to do some painting and we are going to finish the tiling there was a huge mistake and i'm gonna show it to you the huge mistake was that we got um they packed the wrong colored uh, tiles sorry they they packed the wrong colored tiles and for some reason i'm not able to block whenever i go there because the place is so hot and uh, meaning that it's full of activities and so uh, i it totally get out of my mind to block there I'll get there and I'm like, what am I doing there? And boom, I'm gone. And so um, I would say that that place, it, that timber market is a busy place. And so it makes um, uh, blogging right out of my mind. Okay, all right. Um, I'm just recovering from um, another uh, fever. So let, let's hit the road. Okay, let's go and good luck to us and all of you and congratulations for your successful elections and uh, Ghana's election is coming up all right and so we shall see how they perform all right let's go we are back 
um, it didn't turn out good at all. But we were able to budget. So I'll show you in a minute what we did. Actually, nobody came. <laughs> Everything was empty. And so for some reason, um, we did not, in some way, we did not succeed because the artisans uh, did not turn out. They were all giving us excuses. One said that um, he was coming and kept postponing. He said we have to pay him. And it's like we've already paid a deposit. He said he won his full payment before he can continue the work. And then we did a little bit of digging. And then we realized, okay, after somebody else spoke with, after William spoke to him, to the Tyler, before we realized that he has an engagement somewhere, okay, so that he has other projects that he's doing for his client. And instead of him to tell us the truth, he decided to lie and tell us that we owe him money. So in case, this is what we will tell you, in case you are facing any um, disappointment or, or something like a blockade or, or a no-show, know that that person is has some prior engagement somewhere and so you have to make sure that your need is met if not you, there are two options that you can get either you fire them or you ask you go to the root cause and see if you can address it because it looks as if this is kind of like prevalent in the uh, in the market where you face disappointment but instead of them to be forthcoming and tell you that i've got some clients somewhere they will just find a loophole for for an, an excuse as to the reason why they are not servicing or they are absent uh, at the workplace. And so for the past four days, um, actually more than that, like five days, uh, not only did the Tyler not report, but also he might have come, but for some reason he wants me there before he can continue for some reason. I don't understand it, okay? And I'm hurt, right? And so I'm not on site to supervise the whole thing. And so Kwame is there as an assistant and doing it, but for some reason, um, uh, uh, Kwame is not getting the effective leadership skill where he can lead them or, or, or motivate them to, to report to work. And so um, for you, if you do not have any uh, one representative with an equal um, um, influence or an equally um, uh, um, good supervision skills, uh, you, you might face some absences, okay? And so for, for five days, it's not for just one day, five days, okay? So this should, uh, okay, prove to you that it's the, the staff or the artisans also can be really, truly uh, recalcitrant, all right? Okay, and secondly, it's monetary. One thing I will say is that you do part payment, okay? It's critical that you do part payment, uh, depending on the credibility or the organizational skill or the importance of the project, okay? So if the, 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 um, if the project is not that critical, ours is critical. For, the, for example, the painter, okay? Everybody, we make sure that we pay 50% before they start and then pay the rest of the money, okay? But if they do not finish and they start another project, you have to pay the, uh, the, uh, the previous payment in full okay before the new one so i guess that is what um uh, the tyler was um was talking about okay so we have to give him the benefit of the doubt and not lie about our uh, benefit okay so he finished he did not really completely finish the work but he wanted the full payment why because he thought he could you know give us some excuses here and there when he was prior uh, uh, he was engaged somewhere and not only that he's not completely finished even with a bathroom he finished with a uh, with the uh, two rooms but not the bathroom he hasn't finished and yet he, and even the finishing at uh, the finish it, it that was critical he did not finish it and he asked for his full money um, um, up front. So perhaps he might have some, 
I would say some shortcomings, all right, some shortcomings, but do you get angry? Or what, how, do you, how do you solve that particular problem? Well, for us, for me, what, this is what I did. I just gave him the rest of the, uh, the cash with Kwame, okay, so that Kwame would supervise and make sure that he, he uh, I mean, dot all the I's, cross all the T's, and finish it and give a perfect finishing before we give him full payment. Uh, other than that, bring the money back home. All right. And so is the painter. All right. We want a, a professional finishing. If he's unable to do that, we will ask him out. All right. So with that, we are going to have our, our lunch. It's like already uh, I'm starving. All right. Talk to you soon. Bye.